Hi folks, this is Jamie Upson from Stonehearth Capital Management with an educational economic update for April 2017. In this month's video, we'll discuss some of the major headlines that influenced markets in March and provide insight into what these developments could mean for you as an investor. Please stay tuned at the end of this video for a required disclosure statement. With April in full swing, the first quarter of 2017 is now in the books. We won't have quarterly economic data for a little while, but we do know that all the three major indexes gained at least 4.5% during the first quarter. While the markets may have provided fewer record-setting headlines in March, we did pass a milestone in the economic recovery, the eighth anniversary of the Great Recession's lowest market day. Looking at a few data points can show just how far the economy has rebounded since the lows in 2009. First, consider unemployment. In March 2009, the unemployment rate was 8.7%, and it reached 10% by October of that same year. The most recent readings for 2017 were 4.7%, less than half of the highest rate during the recession. Next, the GDP also improved during the same time. In March 2009, we learned that the economy had contracted by 6.3% in the fourth quarter of 2008, its worst decline in over 26 years. Last month, we received the final fourth quarter 2016 GDP readings, which reported an increase to 2.1% from the previously calculated 1.9% growth. While the recovery pace has been slower than many people would prefer, the economy has grown almost every single quarter since 2009. Another sign of our continuing economic recovery is the Federal Reserve's tightening fiscal policy. The Fed raises rates in an attempt to keep the economy growing at a reasonable pace and to control inflation. For a decade between 2006 and 2016, the Fed did not raise rates a single time and took the rate from 5.25% down to zero between June 2006 and December 2008. Then, on March 15, 2017, the Fed announced its third interest rate increase since December 2015. The new benchmark rate is still historically low, but we could experience two or more increases this year. For now, anyone with credit card debt, a home equity line of credit, or other liabilities with adjustable interest rates may see an increase in their payments soon. But remember, rising interest rates indicate that the economy is growing stronger. Overall, 2017 has experienced a largely positive start, and we continue to see a variety of encouraging economic data. Once again, this is Jamie Upson with Stonehearth Capital Management signing off for the month of April 2017. Please remember that nothing we talk about here is a recommendation. If you would like to discuss your personal financial situation, please give us a call at 978-624-3000. We're happy to talk to you. Thank you.